These are the golden lands of Cheshire. Lands which were secure and prosperous via the equal radiance of both the brilliant warmth of lightness and the elusive mystical darkness. There were beautiful valleys of rich soil. There were castles of great strength and charm. And the people of Cheshire were very happy. Sabrina, the goddess of daylight, and Arliman, the dark god of night, both gave life to this land, ruled by the great and good King Rashan. King Rashan dictated that the people of Cheshire would be heard by the rulers of many individual kingdoms, and all was well within the wondrous mountains and the lovely seas. The king's high priest, Zahark, was charged with the task of administering this peace to fulfill the people's dreams of freedom, to encourage celebration of the beautiful sunlight that ruled each day. Yet Zahark had plans of his own. You see, Zahark knew of the jealousy of the Dark Arliman towards Sabrina and her beautiful light, and thus Zahark prepared an evil plan to pit the two gods against each other. The High Priest's wicked plan to rule the lands of Cheshire had begun by his summoning the powers of darkness and giving life to Arliman through the use of an ancient and forbidden spell. Sabrina Aware of the sudden change in the peaceful balance of the universe, knew that as the goddess of light, she must act quickly to prevent the lands from being consumed in total darkness, as evil would surely reign. Neighboring communities went about their daily chores of tending shop, working the fields, fishing the seas, and the kingdom leaders continued to assist the people in their pursuits of peace and security under the aging yet great King Rashan. Many wondered who would one day be heir to the king's throne, in that the king had no queen and therefore no children. Yet the many kingdoms of Cheshire did not worry, because they were unaware of the universal battle brewing in the heavens above. Meanwhile, Zahark had implemented the forbidden spell that gave human form and eternal life to Arliman. Zahark and the dark lord of the blackened skies prepared to cover the golden lands of Cheshire, in eternal darkness by eliminating his rival, the enlightened goddess of light, Sabrina. Sabrina, having powers as equal to that of Arliman, prepared for the coming battle. She had enlisted two great leaders of the land and gave great powers to each one of them. One of these leaders was a wise and beautiful warrior named Armor, and the second was a strong and cunning young warrior named Vian. Soon the battle between the goodness of light and the evil darkness became fierce, during which the goddess Sabrina discovered who was responsible for this terrible uprising. Sabrina guided the beautiful armor to do battle with and kill the evil Zahark, while Vianne was directed to enlist the powers of the king's most trusted grand wizard, Gilliam. Gilliam, being a grand wizard, developed a powerful spell to entrap the evil Arliman. He imprisoned the now eternal dark monster. Vianne had disappeared while assisting Gilliam atop a fearsome dragon, while aiding Gilliam in the capture of Arliman. The 10,000 day war had ended, and Armor the First, the beautiful warrior, was appointed ruler to act as both king and queen to all of Cheshire. Successor to the great King Rashan, who was killed in the terrible war. Soon harmony was once again restored and the people celebrated. Peace, the good teachings of Rashan, and the blessed goodness of light have ruled this land under the great armors for some 300 years now. But suddenly, from out of nowhere, the nightmare of those turbulent years is once again about to return to unfold unto an entirely new, unsuspecting generation.
darkness which imprisoned Arleman, the Dark Lord, 300 years ago, is being guarded by an elderly wizard named Velenese. Velenese is the head apprentice to the Grand Wizard Gilliam, who is said to possess the spell of immortality. However, Velenese had dishonored himself by using forbidden spells and brought upon himself the wrath of Gilliam. As a result, punishment was to be forced upon him as his penance. Felonies, the penalty for using forbidden spells is heavy. From now on, you shall be charged with the task of guarding the jewel of darkness. Huh? Guard it, my lord. That is correct. And for eternity, I shall cast the spell of immortality upon you. After the spell of immortality has been cast upon you, you will be sent to Raven, the Dark Isle where you shall be sealed off from the outside world. Oh, Veronese is one of my head apprentices, an example must be set. You will atone for your sins in solitude. I... I understand, my lord. Having the spell of immortality cast upon him, Elamese was sent off to the Dark Isle of Raven. His life there was not easy. The solitude of eternal life with not another soul was true damnation. It was only a matter of time before this solitude turned hatred towards the rest of the world. It took Velenese 300 years of this hatred to undo this spell that sealed him from the rest of the world. Now, with the dark powers of the sleeping Alderman in his hands, Villanese secretly plans the time to exact his revenge on Gilliam and all of Cheshire. Through the use of ancient sorcery that he mastered during his 300-year exile, Villanese has now become a dark wizard. <laughs> Captivity in the Jewel of Darkness. Now, not unlike Zahark, Villanese begins to place the world under Arlenon's reign. And now for my revenge against the Grand Wizard Gilliam. Revenge for the 300-year-long damnation. All of Cheshire must pay! The regular army led by King Armor VIII could not defeat the ferocity of Villanese's demon army. And the world was soon covered in darkness. With the king's strength spent, the descendant of the first beautiful warrior and his soldiers were forced from their kingdom to the remote lands of Quentin. Thus began the dark wizard Elenese's monstrous revenge. 